pleasure to uh, introduce uh, Luis uh, uh, Nunez ba 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 Betancourt. 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 Yeah, and he will uh, speak on Nash blowups and prime characteristic. Hmm. Okay, well, um, thanks, Dale, and I want to take this opportunity to thank the organizers um, for, for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak today. It's a great pleasure to participate in a celebration of the work of Craig and Mel, to whom I and many others feel uh, very, uh, very, very grateful. Okay, um, so this is a uh, young work. Uh, this is the talk is based on two papers. The first one is with Daniel Duarte, who is at UNAM, Mexico. And then the second is uh, between the three of us, Daniel uh, Duarte and Jack Jeffries, who is at University of Nebraska, Lincoln, in the US. Okay, so let me start with a uh, setting for today's talk. Um, so for us, K is always gonna be an algebraically closed field. Second, X is gonna be an affine algebraic ooh, variety over K of dimension D. And a lot of times I wanna think of X and then mine is gonna be just the spec of R, and then R then is gonna be a finally generated K algebra, which is a domain. Okay, so R is just polynomial ring over a prime ideal. Um, or sometimes I'm gonna take localizations of R and also write in R, but that. Okay, so let me uh, introduce uh, the definition of the main protagonist. So, if I consider, if we consider X in the defined space. So, if I take any uh, smooth points, then here we're gonna have a map. For every x, little x, we're gonna have that the tangent space is well defined and it has dimension d. And then, so I want this to live, it has to be in the Grassmannian, here, here. This map is well defined as long as x is smooth. So, the Nash blob of X is defined by, so what we're gonna do is take this map, look at its image, and then take the Sarisky closure. So that is a algebraic variety. And this comes together with a map. So we have a map from here to X, which is given by the projection map here. So we take the projection map here, we just restrict it. So that's a particular map. Okay, and this was, uh, well, ta -ta 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 -ta. yeah. I mean, this was, uh, um, uh, appeared in a paper by Nobile in 75, and then he created this Nash for uh, hearing this question from him for you know, over a period of years. But if we go back a few years, there is also a paper of Semple in 54 that describes uh, the same object. Okay? So what we're doing here is replacing the singular points by limits of tangent spaces, and we hope that that improves the variety. So the main question here, which I'm gonna call question number one, is the following. Can we resolve singularities via Nash blowups? Okay, so in other words is, okay, let's start with a variety. is 
there exists a T, natural number, and a sequence of varieties such that, well, here what we do is xi plus 1 is equal to the Nash blob of xi. Well, x0 is equal to x, the original variety. And then we need maps here, which are the maps that we took here. So that this happens, this happens, and the last one is smooth. So this way, if, I, if we take this one and the composition of all the maps, we obtain a resolution of singularity. So that's, that's the end goal. No? And it will be given a very nice algorithmic process to get a resolution of singularities if the answer to this were yes. And we don't know if that is, is true. Um, and for this question, just to, to be meaningful, we need that, well, what we expect is that Nash blob improves the singularities. So the first things that we need is it changes the variety, because if you just get the same, then nothing's going to happen. So for this, it's necessary that if x is singular, then the Nash blob of x has to be different to x. That's what we need in order for this question to be meaningful. And this is a theorem of Noville, Noville uh, same paper, 75. He proved that if the characteristic of the field is zero, then the Nash blob of x is happens is equality if and only if the variety is smooth. Or we obtain this one, which is okay. So he also proved some paper that if the characteristic of X of the field is zero and the dimension of the variety is one, so it's a curve. Then our question, the first question, has a positive answer. So we can resolve the curves using this. And then he also gave an example. Same paper in prime characteristic. So let x be the spec. We take f2 xy over x squared minus a cube. So we take the cusp in characteristic 2, then the Nash blob of x is equal to x. So Nash blob does nothing to this curve in prime characteristic. And you know, this is was uh, well, one of the first papers, or maybe the second paper in, in, in Nash blob. And in when that comes this example, so one may think uh, yes, there is no point in thinking about this in, in prime characteristic. And then uh, most of the work in like 40 something years was you know, try to get results, at least in this, in, in characteristic zero. So let me mention a couple of results uh, in characteristic zero. And get chalk. Okay. Oh no, first I want to modify question one Add to something related. So a related question that has been studied also in characteristic zero is the following. Can we solve singularities with Nash blobs and normalization? 
So specifically is there exists a T, natural number, and a sequence of varieties such that, so we start with the variety x0, x1, da, 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 xt, and I just realized that there is no zero, sorry, I just keep thinking about uh, your resolutions and uh, stack diagrams. Well, okay, so we have this such that, again, we want x0, we don't require to be x, but the normalization of x, and then x i plus one is equal to the normalization of the Nash blob of x i, and you know, the last one we want it to be smooth. So we don't take just Nash's normalization, normalization of Nash, normalization of Nash, normalization of Nash, and then if this is smooth, again we get in those maps and um, resolution of singularities. So that question for curves is also not meaningful because we know that normalizing is enough, so we don't have to take the, well, the answer will be yes, but it's not interesting. Uh, <coughs> so 15 years after Nobile's um, paper, Spivakovsky, Prove the following. I know, sorry, I want to do something else. Ah, my heart. Well, well. sorry. A, few, a couple of years later, uh, Gonzalez Springberg in 77 proved that the answer to the second question, question two is positive for toric surfaces. So if we take a toric surface, this is gonna work to get a resolution of singularities. But here also requires in characteristics here. So, and let me just mention two key ideas of the proof. So first, he defines a logarithmic Jacobian ideal. So we think in a, a fine toric, in a, in a toric variety as the spec of a semi-group ring. So, this one is gonna be a monomial ideal, which is defined by linear relations. On the generators of the same group. So he proved that in this case, the Nash blob is equal to the blob of this logarithmic Jacobian of X. So now he proved that we get the resolution of singularities looking at the combinatorial da data that's attached to this. Okay. Okay, and then later, in 1990, Spivakovsky, building on work of uh, Hironaka, uh, he showed that the answer to question two is positive for surfaces in characteristic zero. So what about prime characteristic? So we already saw that question one is not 
meaningful in prime characteristic by the example of uh, Nobile. But in the young work with uh, Daniel, we show that if we take a normal variety, in prime characteristic, then the Nash blob of X is isomorphic to X if and only if X is smooth. So question two is meaningful. If we just yeah, normalize, which is not, not a big price to pay Let me tell you uh, a few ideas of the proof, or steps of the proof, um, to see what fails here that doesn't fail here. Okay, first is if we take R to be uh, the germs of, of a point, so we fix a point, the variety, and we need to prove that this point is, is regular, this, this, this ring is regular. So, if the Nash blob of X is isomorphic to X, it was proved uh, by this year that the model of Keller differentials is, is what it has to be plus possibly some torsion. So, then, there exist partial derivatives, or what? Um, yeah, derivatives, okay, linear derivations, and elements, x1, xd, inside R, such that the i of xj is equal to the Kronecker delta, so one. Mm -hmm. And in characteristic zero, this finishes the proof, because then one can uh, go to a, a result of, of um, Sariski and then you know complete and then see that then R has to be a like a, a, another ring, a join one variable for any of these that we have. So at some point he just recovers a, a, a power series ring, and what ends up happening is that distortion doesn't exist in characteristic zero. In prime characteristic, in this example. We have that, that this is equal to R plus something that does have torsion. So torsion does exist there, and that's the problem. So how we solve this? Um, well, we cannot use this criterion for the smoothness or play much with this, but we have Kohn's theorem in prime characteristic, and it's what we use. So using these um, uh, derivatives, we built a map, Fc, that goes from Rd to P to the D to R1 over P. We define this map globally, and then we prove that Fc localized at Q is an isomorphism for every prime of height 1. Yes? This one? Is uh, oh, that one? Okay. Thank you, thank you, Neil. Yeah, it's just a free map of rank P to the. Thank you, thank you, Neil. Okay, and then you know, uh, and then this implies that Fc is an ISO, and R1 over P is free. Okay. okay. So then what we start doing is, well, now that um, question two or like uh, Nash blob is meaningful for normal varieties in prime characteristic, we can look at all the work that has been done in the 40 plus years and then try to prove it for um, prime characteristic. And the first thing that we wanted to do is, is prove this theorem by, by Mark. And, and we couldn't. 
Um, um, there are some parts in the proof that are characteristic zero is, 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 is absolutely, well, but the way we were trying to prove it was absolutely necessary. One of them was um, this uh, result of Sariski that I mentioned, and there are other, other parts that we couldn't, yes, we couldn't get this. So we were not successful with this, and then we say, well, let's try this one. That's, that's a good start. And this is the, uh, the new result in which uh, Jack joined us for this project. So the theorem. Okay. It's following if X is a toric variety. prime characteristic, then question two has a positive answer. So we can resolve same, same as, as Gonzalez Springberg. So now let me say a few key ideas of the proof. So what we wanted to do at the beginning is, you know, this Jacobian ideal makes sense in prime characteristic. Uh, if, I mean, just look at the, we can just look at the monomials that we have and then try to, to do that. But then so it turns out that that Jacobian ideal does not define the Nash blob. So we cannot use this one. So then we start looking for a characteristic P version of that Jacobian ideal. So we define characteristic P version of the logarithmic Jacobian ideal. And what we did is, here is looking for, so when there's some relations happen or do not happen, so they, and the question becomes or does not become zero. So we just look at that mod P. So this is something very natural. And it turns out that this is true. The log P Jacobian, it is the, the Nash blob is the blob of the logarithmic characteristic P logarithmic Jacobian ideal. And actually, this is true in general, not, not only for, for surfaces. The next step is when we do really need surfaces. And then we have to prove. that the combinatorial data of the sharp P logarithmic Jacobian is the same as the data of the characteristic zero logarithmic Jacobian. And then we're done, because we just follow the, the proof of Gonzalez Springberg. Once we have that, the ideals are different, but the combinatorial data is the same, and that's the, what he used to prove the resolution of singularities. So once we have these two, we're, we're done. Yes. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it's a surface. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Toric surface. Thank you. Surface, yeah. yeah. Surface. These two are true in general. This needs surface. Yeah. And in fact, um, we have an example of a dimension three variety where this is not true. They have different 
combinatorial data. But uh, yeah, well, and that's everything I wanted to mention today. Thank you. Are there any questions? No, no, just, just took the same definition of characteristic zero, and then instead of put equal to zero, put congruent model of P to zero. The Jacobian, yeah. No, it is not reducing the, the, the monomial ideal from characteristic zero to characteristic P. It's just reducing the relations on the exponents, which gives a priori different ideals. For P big enough, it's gonna be the same. But uh, in, low bar in the low characteristics are different. As we have um, an example where, where it gave different combinatorial data. Any more questions? Let's uh, thank the speakers.